Hi my loves! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Diaphne if you're new here. Welcome. In today's video, you saw the title. We're gonna do a luxury wish list for 2024. This is actually one of my favorite videos to make. The delusional me will have like 50 things on my wish list. And then the year will go by and I would not get not even one. <laughs> So when I was making this wish list, I was still being delusional, but I had to reel it back, reel it back, girl. So we're still delusional, but we're like a more realistic delusional. Everything on this wish list is under a thousand dollars. I'm very excited to share everything with you. And the thing is, for this list, I was being very intentional. I put everything on my Canva. Look. How cute is that, okay? More importantly, I was making sure that I'm still on my capsule wardrobe journey, just having a nice curated capsule wardrobe. So I did not just go and just pick things to just throw on this list. I made sure that whatever I picked over here that I can potentially buy for real in real life would fit in with the rest of my wardrobe. I think I'm gonna start with jewelry. You guys know I love jewelry, although I don't have many on right now. Speaking of jewelry, I have earrings on, right? But they're two different sizes. <laughs> we're struggling over here. We're struggling, but we're gonna we're gonna get it together. Yeah. So let's start with jewelry. The very first thing I have on here is a very pretty necklace. I was looking for a gold necklace that is very dainty, very nice. This one goes a little bit above a thousand. It's I think it's like a thousand sixty. It's from Tiffany. It is a simple, very small, minimal necklace that I can wear every day. I can layer with other necklaces that I might add to my collection. It's real gold, very nice, a small little diamond, like point. 05 carat it's still great because you will have this for the rest of your life unless you break it damage it whatever or you will have it for a very long time so that is the first thing i added on this list and then i switched over to david yerman on david yerman i actually wanted a bunch of things david yerman is one of those brands that I have loved for a very long time and I still love and I feel like if you are a beginner in buying jewelry especially fine jewelry David Yerman is a great brand for you to really look at so I picked out these gorgeous pearl studs with the four little dots of diamonds around them this one is real gold it goes for about 850 but they have another version of this with sterling silver that looks exactly the same it is it is exactly the same i really really love the gold one but i would not be mad at the sterling silver one because it looks exactly the same it is so stunning do you see this pearl right in the middle and the little diamonds i think that is so classy i love this i love this i'm a stud kind of girl i love I love earrings like I'm an earring girl you guys know this I love elevated earrings I love bold earrings but I feel like these not this but I feel like the studs with the pearl is such an elevated look it's classy it's a classic you'll have forever and it will just match with everything in my wardrobe and I'm just like I'm here for it speaking of pearl now you guys are gonna be like girl i know you didn't i know i dragged luxury custom jewelry for the prices and just they don't last and yada 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 but i have one on my wish list i have one i have one i have one from dior i love dior jewelry now I know I bashed, like I was like, I regret buying that, like I will never spend that kind of money, whatever. This one is not super expensive, but at the same time, it is still a custom jewelry, but I feel like Dior is one of those brands that does a great job with custom jewelry. They use this antique gold, it's almost like brass, and all of my Dior jewelry that I had, they're still holding on pretty well. Like I have no issues with my Dior jewelry. So. 
I have one on my wish list. I don't know what's been going on with me and pearls lately, but I'm very drawn to jewelry and necklaces and just earrings that have pearl. I feel like it's such, I don't know, it's such a beautiful, I don't know, like a grown woman thing. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but I'm, I really love this Dior with pearl. It just have the cute little CD and the pearl just hanging. I think this is so cute, so classy, so feminine. I think it would elevate anything you have on. Like if you have a nice little button down or like a nice little dress, like a flowy dress. <gasps> Speaking of, oh my God, I bought a dress from h and I'll put a picture on the screen. I was literally fiending for the dress. I bought a size large. It was just like too big. So I'm gonna exchange it for maybe a medium. I think I can even fit a small. I didn't realize it was cut so large but i love the dress i actually wanted the white one but the white one is so is sold out so i don't know if i'll get a chance to like exchange it but that's what anyway i digress that's not what we're talking about that's not what we're talking about we're talking about jewelry we're talking about jewelry so yes dior these earrings really good the next jewelry that i have is this watch that i see on revolve so i was i don't know what i was doing if i was browsing revolve or if I was specifically looking for watches. And then I stumbled upon this watch. I don't know if this is a brand new thing. It's called the Brita. Excuse me, rich woman vibes, classy watch. It looks so nice. I was like, oh my gosh, I love the band. I love the face. It's like a cute oval face. It's not too big. It's not so small. It's just perfect. It's giving rich woman. You probably have like $10,000 worth of watch, but you're not doing too much, but it's not that much. I think it's about like $200, but still I'm saying the vibe of the watch is just like, you know what I mean? Like you're that girl and I really, really love it. This one is very different for me and I really like it. It's called the Brita and I saw it on Revolve, but they do have a website and I'm gonna browse some more to see what else Brita offers because I really, I love this. Look at it inside the watch. It's like a nice, what is this? I don't know, like it just looks so nice. And the next thing I can consider or make it a bridge between jewelry and accessories, accessories being sunglasses, is this Loewe brooch. I love this Loewe brooch. I don't know what's going on, but I have my eye on Loewe and I've been seeing a lot of things that I just, I'm like, oh, I like that, oh, I like that. Loewe is this brand that I feel like if you're looking like for funky things, you might find it there, like funky glasses, like glasses that are like a little different, you know, outside comfort zones kind of vibes. Loewe is that girl. But this brooch, I feel like is very, it's there, but it's not doing too much. What do you guys think? I really, really love it. I'm still, 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 still have the YSL brooch on my wish list that has not gone anywhere. If you want to see the other wish lists that I've had in the past, I'll link them down below so you can take a look and take a peep and see, you know, what I've been eyeing at. But this Loewe brooch, really beautiful, as well as this Loewe belt. I don't know if I told you guys about my Gucci belt that I did not want anymore because I feel like it's just a little too big but this loewe belt i feel like it's the perfect size because the band the, the actual belt is not big at all and i think that's my problem with the gucci one it's just it's a little too big for me i love skinny belts for some reason but this belt i really 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 love it i think i'm loving this loewe logo because it's just like it's it looks like an abstract jiggy jung whatever like it's not like a real thing but it is a real thing it's like l's and l's and l's intertwined in each other it's super cute i think it's super cute like i'm for it for sunglasses on my list this year i have three sunnies i have a chanel acetate i really love this one i actually have the rectangle one but i really want the oval one i think that is such a classy classic vibe not every outfit is gonna go with a rectangle with sunnies so having the oval one kind of give you options for depending on what you're wearing and the next on my wish list is definitely the celine triumph sunglasses i want the black and the tortoise i don't know like i really think the black hits like the black would hit with every outfit 
But then the tortoise though, like it depends on what you're wearing. I think you might need the tortoise. So maybe you need both. Hello? You gotta make the math math, girl. Like it's, yes. And the next one that I really just want you guys is, I don't know, like I've seen the girls go with this. It's either Eliza Johnson or Elisa. Elisa? Elisa? She's a black woman. Black woman owns Sunnies. And these Jane sunglasses in white or cream. Oh my God. They look so good. And for spring? Hello? In summer? Oh my God. They look so good. They look so good. They look so good. They look so good. They are in the forefront of my list, honey, because I was like, excuse me, this look good. And they have other colors, like a tortoise with a purple lens. So good. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already. They're really good. Those are the only sunglasses that I have. I have two perfumes on this wish list. It is the Creed Love and White. That perfume, I could never forget. I had it once a couple years ago when I was like spending a lot of money on perfumes. You guys, like I really had to just be like, Daphne, uh, does this make sense for you to literally have how many thousand dollars of perfume just sitting here on your dresser? It doesn't make sense. And you're still buying more perfumes? Does that make sense? So my goal was to literally just finish all the perfumes that I have, whether I love them or not. If I absolutely hated them, I just gave them away. But my goal was to use up my entire perfume collection and I am almost finished. I only have some of my replica by the fireplace left. I have some Chanel Gabrielle left. Besides that, everything else is almost finished. Like like this okay so now i am building my list for what perfumes i really really like and perfumes that i would really love to have in my collection without wasting money without buying a whole bunch of perfumes just to have here collecting dust so the first one that comes up besides my core perfumes like chloe and things that are very accessible that i can get at sephora that is that is that, okay? But besides that, on the luxury side of things, Creed Love and White is the number one that I ha I thought about. That was my first thing that came to mind that I just couldn't, I couldn't get it out of my mind. That perfume is definitely something that when I can, soon as I can, I will add it back to my collection. It gives me, it smells so good. If you've never smelled that perfume, please go to one of the department stores and smell it and you come back and let me know what you think there's two different versions there is a love and white that is in a white bottle and there's a love and white for summer that is in a clear bottle with a white top that's the one i had but then one time i went back and i smelled the original or the one that's in the white bottle and i was just like oh my gosh if I had the money, I literally would have had both because they're very similar, but also very different. And the next thing I have here on my wish list is MFK Grand Soir. This smells like, let me tell you how this smells like. This smells like a rich woman who owns a yacht or like a boat and she is literally she's in france and she's on her boat having dinner you know sur la seine going to spain or something she has this beautiful dress on minimal jewelry beautiful black woman hair nicely done she smells like money she's not doing too much but she's here you see her this is what this perfume gives me and this is how i want to smell all the time okay it smells so good i don't think it's everyone's taste i don't think this perfume is gonna is everyone's taste but it's definitely my taste it makes me feel like that girl when i smelled it i was like oh you i'm gonna come back for you like i'm gonna come back for you because i 
yeah i have a lot of other perfumes that i love for example gypsy water from byredo i love that scent this is it's more of a musky scent i love a lot of the more expensive niche perfumes i really do but those two the loving white and the gonsoir are definitely going to be the first two that i buy once my budget opens up for me to be able to get back in my luxury bag okay i'm letting you know right now and the only shoes that i have are some sandals they're both are from saint laurent so i was really eyeing the saint laurent tribute sandals just to replenish the white ones i know you guys know like i love those sandals if someone tell me what sandals you would want in your wardrobe that would match with everything it would be those those tribute sandals they do it for me every 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 single time so yeah the white ones just to replenish and then i want the brown ones but with a heel so it would be like the brown mules the tribute sandals but with the little heel yeah those are like the most you know the high-end sandals that i actually want these are styles that are permanent so you can get them anytime so i'm not in a rush my thing is just to miss out on things so i would want something and i'll be like oh you know next thing you know it disappears that's my fear but these are like things that are permanent so it shouldn't disappear i want it do you guys see me do you guys see me and my victoria's secret pajamas okay i'm feeling like a rich woman today i feel really good the hair is not giving rich woman but like she's been here for a little while so she's you know she's telling me she needs a break but i really want to like take a break from like getting quick weaves this is like a quick weave i really love the color though i cannot lie about the color I really love the color but I want to take a break from the quick weave and just get like braids because you know you guys know I really I cut my hair really 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 short so now I'm I really want to just grow my hair back because I miss being able to do like a bun or a ponytail anyway let's get back to my list I don't know why I'm so chatty and not just sticking to the list let's get back to the list now it might be a little basic for this but i really want the adidas sambas i don't know if those are luxury or is that luxury it's probably not luxury but anyway i'm gonna tell you about it because i really want it um yeah it is trendy it's very trendy but it does remind me of my dad a lot because my daddy just loves to wear adidas adidas sweatsuits adidas 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 shoes has been adidas down since i can even remember so now seeing those sambas just floating around it just really reminds me of him a lot and i feel like i really want one because it'll just make me feel close to him all the time if you guys don't know my dad lives in haiti and we don't see each other all the time but yeah so that's the last one that i want and the reason why i'm putting it in the luxury piece is because over a hundred dollars for some tennis shoes it's kind of crazy i feel like it's it's damn near luxury okay damn near luxury and because these things are hot commodity sometimes they're sold out and it's just it's a lot it's a lot going on okay but i really want them i really want them <laughs> Now we're gonna talk about bags. I have one, two, three, four, two, three, five bags. I have five bags on this list here. And the very first one is from Loewe. I told you guys I really have just Loewe, Loewe, Loewe just coming from anywhere on my mind. I just have a lot of Loewe on my mind lately. And this bag, when I saw it, I was like, yes, ma'am, add to car. This is like a, a basket bag. This is what it is. It's a basket bag. And then the Loewe part, the brown part is leather. You guys know I cannot find... Oh, it's right here. Hold on. When I saw that bag, I immediately thought of this one. This bag is a bag that I got from Mango. It is one of my absolute favorite bags. And it is also one of my most worn bags. I wear this in spring, summer, fall, winter, whatever. Like it carries a lot, it holds a lot, and I really love it. The Loewe bag is almost the same. It's not the same shape, but it is the same concept. So it has 
this natural weaving material and then over here would be real leather that says loewe it's a different shape the the handles are a little longer so when i saw that bag i immediately thought of this one because i love this one so much and i thought the loewe one is just such an elevated one that would definitely match my wardrobe it makes sense to invest in pieces that you know you're gonna wear over and over and over again so you have them for a very long time in your wardrobe the next bags i have are from coach i have the lana bucket bag or whatever i don't know if it's a bucket bag but the lana 23 bag coach just came out with that maybe last year sometime i really love that bag especially in this darker taupe color i love that bag i love that bag okay it looks so nice i think it fits my aesthetic very nicely the next one is also another coach bag it is the cassie bag i had to put it here because i'm still feeling after that bag and i've decided i'm gonna get it like i'm done doing this little game where it's like i want the bag but i don't get the bag whatever i'm gonna get the bag because it's been on my mind for far too long maybe it's been years like maybe a year since i've been thinking about the bag i've been talking about this bag I don't know what's stopping me from buying the bag. It fits everything in my collection. It fits my wardrobe. It fits my style. It's it's not super big. So I don't know what's been stopping me from getting the bag. So I've decided I'm going to get the bag. I'm going to get the bag. That's it. End of question or end of story? End of story. We're going to get the bag. We're going to get the bag, okay? This next bag uh, is so freaking cute it is the pollen numero 9 in this brown color what yes this bag is super cute to me it is super cute and i want it i want it i don't have many brown bags at least not in that color and i think it would fit perfectly with everything else that i have i yeah i want it i love it and yes and last but not least for the bags we have this metallic jacques mousse bag hello hello the folded little clutch golden silver kind of vibe i saw a white cream one with the different handles being one gold one silver are you kidding are you kidding? I really just might get that one because I really love Jacques Mousse vibes. I feel like Jacques Mousse is one of those, one of those creatives, one of those designers that really just think outside the box. The designs are very different. Like I feel like if you are someone who loves different designs that don't look like everyone's design just think outside the box but still in a classy way think outside the box but still in a very tasteful way Jacques Mousse is your brand you should definitely look into them i was looking and i was like oh my gosh like i really love i love this i love that i love that i love that but then again you know we gotta tame the delusions because loving this and loving that and loving that does not align with we're gonna save money so you can't love all of them you can pick one or two but you can't love all of them because you're gonna end up spending way too much money and that does not align with i want to save money i had to reel it in i had to reel it in i had to reel it in but jacques mousse is my vibe i really love oh my gosh and speaking of i even saw this beautiful shirt it's like a button down shirt but it has a belt that holds it right here it's cropped but it's not the typical crop where like all of your belly is out and i can definitely see myself wearing this i like her i really like her i really 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 like her i'm very excited i love the website i love going on jack moose like i see so many things it's very sometimes i so i'll see something and it'll spark an idea of an outfit or something like i really love i just really love the brand overall but this right here this bag is on my radar i don't necessarily want the silver and gold because that's really outside of my comfort zone but the white 
with the gold and silver handles. Yes, it's more like a cream. It's not white, it's more cream. Really love that one. And since we're in clothes now, we transition to clothes. The next, I guess, ready to wear is what we call it that I was looking at is this Ajé knit wear knit sweater situation it's giving me loewe but for a fraction of the price i really love this sweater i actually wanted it for my birthday but i ended up not getting it because the size i wanted didn't have they have a large but looking and judging from the way that it is the large will probably be way too big and way too long for me i wanted a medium but so I didn't risk it because I feel like it was final sale, if I'm not mistaken. But if they do come with a medium or if they do get ended up getting a medium, I will probably get it because I really, really, really love it. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I had ideas of how I was going to wear it for my birthday. But unfortunately, I did not want to spend the money on something that I probably would not fit. Because as you can see, it's an oversized look. So getting a large would probably be way too big for me. And if it's final sale, then I can't return it. And it's like, why risk it? So that's the only reason why I didn't get it, but I'm still keeping an eye and you never know. We'll see where life takes us, if I'm either gonna get it or not. But yeah, and the last piece that's on my wish list right now is the Frankie Shop Hourglass Blazer. I feel like I talked about this a little bit in my... What did I talk about it? I'll put the video up here for you to check out when I talked about this hourglass kind of vibe. But I feel like this Frankie Shop blazer, when I was reading the materials and I was looking at the way that it is made, it's just amazing. This blazer is exactly what I would want in my wardrobe because right now I don't have a black blazer. I have an oversized blazer that I got from Zara that it's not super oversized, but it's just a little oversized, which I love, but it's more on the casual side. And then I had another one that I purchased from Zara, which I'm going to put up for sale because it doesn't fit right. It's a little tight at the shoulders. It just does not sit well on me. And I feel like one of the main things that makes someone look good when they dress, that makes someone feel confident when they're dressed is when their clothes fit. So this Frankie Shop blazer would be a great gap filler in my wardrobe because I am missing a black blazer. I'm also missing a navy blue blazer, which I'm gonna look out for from Banana Republic or Veronica Beard. We will see whichever one I fall in love with. J. Crew sometimes have amazing blazers as well, so we still don't want to look out for the navy blue blazer. But this black blazer from the Frankie Shop here, hourglass blazer is everything. This is something you can dress up dress down, dress in the middle, do whatever it is that you want. Because of this hourglass shape that the blazer already comes with, you can even wear it nice. So picture this, you wear a nice camisole, you put that blazer on, you wear a very nice pleated skirt, and you belt that blazer in. Hello? It just looks so nice and feminine and that is definitely an item that I have my eye on. It sells out pretty quickly on the Frankie Shop so it is something that you have to be very diligent like put your email as soon as it comes in you checking out right away like it's not it doesn't give you time to think so you have a, you have to already know if this is something you want or not because it's not gonna wait for you okay those are the things i have on my wish list and i'm very excited for this wish list because i personally feel like everything on here is very attainable it's not really breaking the bank when it comes to luxury i made a conscious effort you guys to be be for real like let's be for real i used to have those things like five thousand dollar things on my wish list like am i really going to spend five thousand dollars on a luxury item let's be for real no i'm not i'm really not like <laughs> no so let's be for real like if i am for real i have more chance of actually getting these things i made a conscious effort to make sure that these items are not over a thousand dollars they're not over a thousand dollars that is something that i can easily save for without going over budget with everything else that i have going on in life i can please myself in that sense and be like you know what i'm going to save to buy this Loewe bag. I'm going to save to buy this Loewe belt. 
this is how much I'm going to put this is how much I'm going to put aside to buy these Celine glasses. I feel like that's very attainable and that's very realistic if you want to add, you know, luxury in your wardrobe, luxury in your life, whatever it is that you want to do, if you want to save for a trip, those things are realistic and you're like, "Okay, this is the amount. It's not over a thousand. So that is my cap." For now, that is my cap. I don't know, you know, later on down the line, but for now, that's my cap, and I feel very good about it. I feel very good about it, and I'm excited. I'm so excited. I had so much fun filming this video. You guys know I love talking about luxury wish lists, luxury things. Let's buy, let's buy, let's shop, okay? <laughs> I'm super excited. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you have some things on your wish list for this year, please share them with me down below. I really love reading people luxury wish lists. I love to see what you've been eyeing. I'm so nosy. I just love it. So please don't hesitate to share with me. I would be so happy just to like chit chat with you in the comments as well. You guys, I wanna stop here and say thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for showing up for me. Thank you so much for your comments, likes, your subscribe. Please, 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 if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It helps my channel so, so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.